How you doing? Thanks for watching. This is George in the Wicked Warning Shop here with a big old nice custom trailer build. What we have here is an extra height enclosed trailer that's going to get used for snow removal purposes. And the customer requested that we get some warning on the outside, some floodlight on the outside, a house battery, as well as some floodlight on the inside with a nice controller to do that. So first, let me demonstrate to you our floodlight option. And keep in mind that this trailer is not hooked up to anything right now. It is meant to be used off the vehicle or on the vehicle. So what we have highlighted on this trailer is our Thin-X strip light. We've got our 28 inch version on the front and we've got our newly released smaller 12 inch version on the sides. Uh, we've got three down each side as well as 28 on the front and the back. Uh, they have a flood mode option like this and let me show you what it looks like with the shop lights off. As you can see on the walls it's definitely bright. Let me take you around the other side and show you the display. Here you can see over on the left side of my shop there how that wall is fully illuminated. That's definitely all by the trailer. Let me show you what the right side looks like on this trailer. Of course over here we've got the same three lights with the flood mode. We've also got one on the rear of the trailer as well. And you can see on the wall there how much light this actually puts out. This uh, flood mode definitely puts a very good amount of light. As you can see, has no problem lighting up the entire shop. Let me show you what the warning mode looks like. Here's our Thin-X LED strip in the warning mode. I'm going to kick the shop lights back on so it uh, doesn't blind out the camera like this. Hang on. That's a little bit better. You can definitely see how bright these uh, Thin-X strip lights are. Now we can go ahead and add in uh, the left side and the right side for warning mode. This has control over all the different sides of the trailer, front, back, left, and right. So if he happens to be up against a residential area, he doesn't have to be shooting warning off into that direction. This is going to be pulled by a snowplow vehicle that we also fully lit. And uh, it holds snow removal machinery inside for sidewalks. And uh, what he does is he gets on site, disconnects from his trailer, and uh, lets the machines from inside the trailer work while he works with the blade on the truck and he leaves the warning running uh, just in the parking lot there until he's done. He loads everything up, hooks, up, hooks back up to the trailer and moves on to the next site. Let me show you the other side. So as you can see we've got the same kind of image on the, both sides of the trailer. We went with a reversing color synchronized pattern on the three side lights. The front ones we chose a little bit different pattern that skips a beat and uh, we did not sync the front and the back to the sides just to keep it moving a little bit, keep the pattern changing. Let me show you a little bit about the front of this trailer and what we did with the house batteries. Up here on the front tongue of the trailer, you can see how we've mounted a battery box. Inside that battery box, we've got a deep cycle marine battery that's powering all of his accessories. We've also got a two amp trickle charger. And what this does is not only does it power this battery and charge this battery when it's hooked up to the tow vehicle, you can also plug in that trickle charger, which the cord is hanging out right there on the right hand side. And at night, once you're done working for the day, recharge your deep cycle battery here uh, with the trickle charger overnight. This is customer requested so he can plug it in at night and as well as charge it off his vehicle. And this marine battery, battery will keep these lights running for many, 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 many hours before it needs a recharge. Let me show you a little closer view here. Went with a Napa grade trickle charger and a Napa battery. That way if we have any issues, he can stop at any Napa, any time, and simply swap it out for a new part. So um, definitely like the high quality that Napa offers. And it's all enclosed in a nice box here for a waterproof compartment. Strapped down, super tight. And once you pop the lid back on, everything is completely sealed and kind of discreet. Doesn't look like much. Black matches the trailer. All right, around the back of the trailer, you can see the sides in the front are flashing away and illuminating the whole shop there for us. We've got two different floodlight options on the rear of the trailer. We've got the factory installed floodlight to the right, as well as our Thin-X strip uh, above it, center on. Let's show you the factory light first. All right, so there you have your factory installed CargoMate little floodlight on the right hand side. And we also added in the rear flood mode with the Thin-X strip light on there as well. So when he wants a little bit of extra light, as you can see, the entire trailer will flood out and you can clearly see how much brighter the Thin-X strip is than that uh, pimpy little 
freebie light that the trailer company puts on the side of this. That rear stick will also do a warning mode when we turn the flood off, just like the front. And you can see we've got the matching skip a beat pattern on the rear 28 inch stick as well. The reason I went with an all on all off pattern like this is because this trailer is so high and I wanted to have long distance visibility on this. Uh, I could have split the Thinex strip pattern up to a couple of smaller illuminations that bounce around but it wouldn't reach out as far. Uh, being that this trailer is so big and tall I really wanted a large display of light so as you can see right now we've got about 20 uh, 20 something 26 inches of amber and white light alternating in the back and uh, that's going to be clearly visible for quite a way ways uh, let me show you the side here with uh, from the back with everything warning here's that side shot once again and as you can see we've got the opposing colors flip flopping and that's again what I did with the side lights is I wanted to illuminate the entire light I wanted to give this trailer the largest flashing light that we had and uh, this is it um, th this trailer will definitely have no problem being seen let me show you what we did on the inside of the trailer as well as far as the interior lighting and some other treatments that we did to this trailer so inside the trailer we had a little bit uh, of a lack of interior lighting there came with two factory small freebie roof lights and uh, once in a while we might have an equipment failure with this trailer and we may have to work on something in the trailer so the client requested that we have a little better interior illumination so we went ahead and added some strip lights down each side you can see here that way you can pretty much perform surgery inside this trailer uh, with the amount of light that we have inside of it uh, definitely has uh, a much better effect for working we also uh, line xed the lower half of this trailer as well as added a whole mess of e-track and tie downs for the snow machines um, you can see that uh, this trailer was finished inside it came to us fully sheeted so we had the permission from the customer to run our wiring on the inside with the uh, split loom and keep it tidy uh, around the top of the trailer there because we did not want to disassemble the interior of the trailer so we were able to just keep it nice and tidy inside the trailer let me show you our control panel on the inside we chose our very popular six button controller so we can give the client a lot of different features and we mounted it right here next to the factory switches let me zoom in, zoom in and show you his feature set that we put on the labels Okay, so here at the control panel, you can see we've got front, rear, left, right, flood, and the main. The main is the power to turn everything off. Well, you can turn it on. You can also activate your front, your left, your right, and your rear. And we are controlling the interior lights with the standard interior switch. We just tied that into the already existing trailer rocker switch that was in place. Let me show you once more on the outside of this trailer because I know you all are just itching to see them lights one more time. So here we've got pretty much everything lit up. We've got the inside lighting, we've got the rear OEM flood, we've got all the warning going as well. Uh, this is what it could look like with the maximum of everything. Or if we hit flood mode, we'll see every light on the trailer put in white here. Now you can see that we uh, definitely have plenty of light. Let me show you that with the shop lights off once. All right, so there we've got our warning. And as you can see, it's just lighten the whole shop up no problem here with the warning definitely have uh, plenty of power and when we go ahead and throw everything on flood who needs shop lights we've got plenty of light throughout everything right here to do anything we want so uh let us know if you need a trailer customized like this bring it right on down to wicked warnings here in naperville illinois we can take care of everything that you need we can give you flood mode just like this or we can put it back into warning mode we can do a variety of any kind of build that you want and we can definitely take care of you and uh, thanks again for watching. Be sure to check out our social media feeds. And once again, this was a feature video showing our Thin X strip lighting available only at Wicked Warnings. This is an exclusive product. These links and color combinations are only available here. You cannot get the product anywhere else in the country. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the share button, drop an email to info at wickedwarnings.com or give us a call at 630-361-4390. And my website people are going to kill me because this video was 10 minutes long. I hope if you still made it uh, and you're still watching, thanks again and uh, stay tuned for more cool videos.